Hello everyone. Today we are going to make the line following robot project. This is a very simple project normally used in industries warehouses to move the products here and there. Let's get started. First we will see the list of components. We need an Arduino board and then one L298N driver and then two IR sensor and we need one chassis and two 65mm wheel and one caster wheel. So I am going to build a two wheel robot today. Two motors I am going to use and one caster wheel follow the motor. For that we need two Bevo motors and then thin ion battery with the holder. So let's fix the components. First I take the caster wheel. Chassis kit available in the market we can purchase. First we have to make the caster wheel fitting. So you have to choose the proper hole to connect the wheels and then only the screws will fit correctly. Then we have to fix the Bevo motor look like this. So we have to take the screw and uh, fix the motors. Two motors we are using for this project. Both motors should connected bottom of the chassis using bolt and net. So this uh, all necessary items will coming under this kit itself. So it is better to purchase the kit and uh, making the project. It uh, saves our time. Otherwise it is uh, difficult to make the chassis and all. Looks uh, very nice. If you are after making the connections, if you see this uh, robot it will look very nice. The first motor fixed, then the uh, second motor also fixed uh, like uh, similar to first motor. Just to make sure screws are fitted with very tight. Then we have to fix the wheels in that Bevo motor. We have to fix the wheels. So two wheels uh, we fitted. After that we have to take the wires from out to connect the l 298 n driver. So after making the wheel it look like this. Then we have to fix the components top of the chassis. So here we are going to fix the four components. First one is uh, Arduino Uno, l 298 n driver and then one battery, two sensor we have to fix. Okay. First I take the Uno board and uh, paste it with double side tape. And then I take the L298 in driver, also I fixed like this. After uh, fix this uh, board, we have to connect the motor wires. So the motor wire taken from the bottom. And then we, uh, you look at the L298 in driver, there are four outputs are there. Output 1, output 2, output 3 and output 4. So left side, right side motor should connect it, output 1, output 2 for left side motor, out, output 3, output 4 for right side motor. So before making the connection, just to look at the board, the board itself having the marking. So you just look at the marking, then you can easily fix these wires. So it is noted that if the vehicle will move forward, our objective is vehicle should move forward direction while operating the sensor. If you are made connections are wrongly, which, which means that if you change the polarity, the vehicle will move reverse direction, backward direction it will move. If it is so, you just change the wires. Polarity, if you change the polarity, the, the vehicle will move forward direction. So that is the check we have to do. After these uh, connections, I made uh, power connections. There are three power, out, uh, power uh, pins are available. One is 5 volt output, another one is ground pin, third one is 12 volt output in the L290 Indian driver. We have to connect the battery into 12 volt output. Now I fix the uh, motor in one input enable pins wires. We need enable pin also, enable A, enable pin also we are used in this project. So we have to connect uh, pin properly. I given in the pin diagram in description box. Uh, before going to make the connections, you check uh, the pin diagram once, then only you can make the connections perfectly. So here, uh, enable pin should connect the fifth pin of the Arduino, Arduino board. So Arduino board having 13 pins, digital pins and 5 analog pins. We have to connect the enable A is fifth pin of the Arduino board and enable B should be connected in the sixth pin of the Arduino board. These two pins are pulse width modulation pins. I already told these pins are used to control the speed of the motor. We need a very 
lesser speed if the vehicle moves very fast it is very difficult to follow the lines if you want to uh, move very fastly we have to go for pid connections that is not uh, doing today we just uh, seeing whether the line follower robot how it works okay for that we used to enable pins for speed control we need very less speed so that i used okay then in one is connected is eighth pin in two is connected is ninth pin in three is tenth pin and in four is eleventh pin so this is the connection for l298 n driver then we are using two sensors uh, for left sensor we have to connect pin 2 of the arduino board right sensor connected pin 3 of the arduino board uh, if you look at the sensor sensor having three pins one signal pin two power pins okay two uh, in the two one is uh, vcc another one is ground so there are only three pins uh, present in the ir sensor so this is very simple connections so we have to carefully fix the components we should not remove from the board and remove from the chassis while operating the robot so you make sure the connection should be very tightly and the component should be pasted very strong bond okay so that is very important otherwise uh, frequent troubleshooting happening so it is uh, make very frustration so before going to the uh, connection you have to careful about this so after making connections the robot look like this so i am showing the top view it is noted that the sensor should be around 1.8 cm above the ground should not be very fixed near the surface of the ground so 1.8 cm i fix and the distance between the two sensor is 3.5 cm so this is all about uh, the connections next we have to program the arduino board for that we need ide ide is taken from the arduino website and then i wrote this uh, bunch of lines for this line following robot Well, see here first i define the pin configurations enable a enable b and uh, input 1 input 2 input 3 input 4 all pins are defined first as per the pin diagram okay we should not change the pin numbers here so we have to make sure about that then i given the sensor uh, signal output where the sensor signals pins are connected so already we know number 2 and number 3 of arduino board pins are used for sensor control signal pins then in white setup section i wrote i wrote input output conditions sensors are used as input and motors are used as a output mode so i defined here and then while loop section i given the sensor detection condition so we have to calibrate the sensor before going to use this robot project so make sure that the white line should be in high mode which means that when the sensor detected in white color surface it should be on on both leds if it is detected in black color line it should off condition the led should off signal led should off okay so i i given here the condition for controlling the led and then bottom of the code is used to for controlling the motor uh, we need to move the forward and backward directions and the turning when the corner is coming the robot will robot should turn smoothly for that i wrote this kind of some lines for that so this is a very simple project after uh, made all these thing we have to check the arduino board arduino board selected or not and then port if you connected the usb cable it will show com3 com4 like that okay the both things uh, after make sure then we have to verify the code and then we have to upload the board okay this is all about coding now we coming under the testing which is on on it will moves very smoothly and follow the black color line look like this the robot will working very perfectly and following the black color lines as per our need okay this is all about the line following robot project
Thank you friends for watching this video. Friends, you only watching the videos but you are not subscribing my channel. So subscription is very important for me. It gives more energy to produce more and more Arduino videos. In this uh, channel, I am planning to give the tech projects, IoT and then Arduino related projects in near future. Please subscribe my channel for more videos friends. Thank you.